morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, and let's face it, right, it has been far, far too long since Charizard VMAX has been revealed and been out in the wild, and we've seen it, and we've not yet looked at any winning decks. Now, Obviously, all the bigger tournaments are currently off in Japan and around the world, so we are looking at some more local deck lists here, though they are still winning deck lists. Shout out to the lovely Talonite X for hooking us up. But I know that a lot of people are excited about Charizard V Max. I know that I'm excited about Charizard V Max. And I know a lot of people are looking for a deck list that they can use to get themselves started. So please consider this a deck list with which you can get yourself started. Now, starting off with Charizard V and Charizard V Max, that's fairly important. And I should add that our translations here come from the lovely Antoine Boulet, one of our very, very favourites. Starting off with Charizard V, we've got 3 energy, 80 damage, or 4 energy, 220 damage, discarding 2 energy from it. It's fine, it's not my favourite thing about the line, but it's alright. Charizard V Max for 3 energy does 100 damage, or for 5 energy does 300 damage, discarding 2 energy from this Pokemon. Sounds like fun, and don't worry, we got plenty of different ways to play this. But let's make no mistake about it, these are Charizard V Max decks. Charizard V Max is the main Pokemon, the main draw, the main reason to play the deck. We've got a bunch of supporting Pokemon, and a couple of them will look very, very familiar between deck lists. But our goal here really is to just build up Charizard V Max and start doing a huge amount of damage very, very quickly. Charizard V is alright, but one of the secrets as far as I'm concerned of Charizard V Max is that as an evolved Pokemon, it can use triple acceleration energy. But Charizard V cannot. So again, I'm really leaning towards Charizard V Max here. As far as I'm concerned, that is the real bonus of Charizard. Now, in terms of other Pokemon, there really are a couple that permeate the deck list, and I have got three to show you here. One of them is the non-GX Volcanion that came around in Unbroken Bonds. And this is a really good Volcanion. For one energy, one fire energy, you get to search your deck for a fire energy and attach it to one of your Pokemon. Which is fine, but you're putting an energy on Volcanion to accelerate an energy, you've got to use it twice to really get any benefit from it. But if it is your first turn of the game and you went second, you may search your deck for free fire energy and attach them to your Pokemon in any way that you like. Oh yeah. Yeah, you see, that, ladies and gentlemen, is significantly better. That's why we love Volcanion. Firestarter gets three more energy on the field, and that is amazing. Now, High Heat Blast for two fire energy does 50 damage, but if you've got at least four fire energy in play, you do 110. And really, this is very simply there, because... It's a non-GX attacker, and over the free deck list, it really is the only non-GX attacker we see. The other one we see here, in all three deck lists, is Blacephalon GX. Now you've got that big attack, which lets you Lost Zone as many fire energy as you like from the field, doing 50 damage for each one Lost Zone, which is fine in an emergency. But even then, Lost Zoning 5 energy does 250, Charizard can do 300 for 5 energy. And 300 gets tag teams and some VMAXs, whereas 250 generally doesn't. There's the odd exception. And you've got the first attack. One fire energy, burn and confusion, fine in an emergency. But the main reason to play this as a one-off is for the GX attack that lets you discard one of your prizes if it's an energy attached it to one of your Pokemon in play. But really here, it's just you've got one fewer prize to take. Simple as that. There's no other GX attack you're trying to use here, so go for it. Just use this, see if I care. Works quite nicely. If you're down to five prizes, use this and you win the game instantly for a single energy. Now, there are a few techs we see kind of here and there. Mew to protect your bench is quite nice. Galarian Zigzagoon to do an extra 10 damage and potentially be the difference between getting a KO and not getting a KO is quite nice. 
but mostly here we're looking at consistency and we've actually got a few different options. One of the decks chooses to play two copies of Dedene, discard your hand, draw six cards, fast and aggressive and consistent. We do see that actually same deck plays free Jirachi as well. Look at the top five cards of your deck while you're in the active. Find yourself a trainer. Jirachi goes to sleep. You get free retreat with a skateboard. Life is good. And actually that same deck also plays the new Eldegoss V. Which when you play it to the bench is a versus seeker. Put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. And actually that same deck also plays a new Auron Guru from Sword and Shield. That lets you swap a card in your hand with the top card of your deck. Really nice for consistency and essentially drawing a card, although you do have to put one from your hand on top of your deck. We do see that one of the list does play a 1-1 one, one Miss Magius line, which is the one whereby you have to KO it and give up a prize, but if the rest of your Pokemon are 2 and 3 prize Pokemon, it really doesn't matter. And in that particular deck list, it is literally just Miss Magius, and a bunch of, well, I suppose there's Volcanium, but you have to manage it nicely. If you manage it nicely, giving up that prize doesn't even matter. Because your opponent ends up with one prize remaining, but they got to take down a two or three prize Pokemon, so who really cares? And then there is one list that actually plays none of this, because they play Green's Exploration. More on that in a moment. Now, in terms of the energy, obviously we play a boatload of fire energy. One of the lists actually doesn't play triple acceleration energy, but the other two do. And I would suggest this is a very sensible thing, especially given that you can do 100 damage for one energy attachment. That seems like the kind of thing that you should probably be wanting to do. Now, in terms of these supporters, like I've said, there is one list that plays Green's Exploration because they're not playing any of these abilities to help themselves out. And actually, the Miss Magius list also plays Green's Exploration because, again, it's just one ability and you're blowing up Miss Magius so it's never actually staying on the field. So two of the three do go for Green's Exploration. The other is very ability heavy. If you're not playing Green's Exploration, then what you want to go for here is Professor Magnolia. Discard your hand, draw seven cards, because it's the fastest, most aggressive card we've got in terms of drawing. Clearly, all of the decks here are going to play Welder. Attach two fire energy to one of your Pokemon and draw three cards. It's, um, it's a little bit broken in this particular deck. And in terms of finding your fire energy, you've got Giant Hearth, the stadium that gets two from your deck. Be got to discard one from your hand. Fiery Flint, the item card that gets four from your deck, but you've got to discard two cards from your hand. And Fire Crystal, the item card that gets three from your discard pile. Yeah, they're pretty good. And also worth considering that weirdly not all of them do, but we do see that two of the lists here do play Heat Factory Prism Star. Discard a Fire Energy from your hand, draw three cards. That sounds pretty good to me. Because we're really reliant on Welder here, Poker Gear 3.0 becomes an excellent, excellent choice. Look at the top four cards of your deck, find a supporter, put it into your hand. Seems kind of like a no-brainer. And two of the lists, though weirdly not the third, do play Boss's Orders Giovanni. It's the one that's just a reprint of Lysander. It is a supporter card that lets you drag one of your opponent's bench Pokemon into the active. The list that doesn't play Giovanni does play a full four custom catcher, play two at the same time, gust anything, and great catcher, but only one of these, that is the discard two cards from your hand, gust up only an EX or a GX, which is why we only play one of them. Clearly, in terms of Pokemon search, Quick Ball becomes absolutely amazing here, because it lets you search any basic out, but you do still have your Evolution here, so your choices are basically Evolution Incense, which just searches out your VMAX, or you can go for Pokemon Communication that lets you swap a Pokemon in your hand for one in your deck. Though that is slightly less reliable, it does also let you get a basic, just so long as you've got one in your hand to swap for it. Clearly, if you're playing Miss Magius, you need to play Duskstone so you can search for the Miss Magius, but also evolve it turn one. That seems pretty, um, 
pretty standard. And speaking of standard, we do see some of these playing one copy of Tool Scrapper. Gets rid of tools. You'll see basically one copy in almost every deck moving forward. No guarantee, but that seems pretty likely. One of the lists, the lists that... Well, one of them that doesn't actually play any of these Pokemon for extra consistency does play four copies of Acrobike to give a little bit of extra speed. Look at the top two cards of your deck, put one in your hand, discard one. If you're playing Green's Exploration, it's a kind of thing that can give you extra speed, but also can be searched with Green's Exploration. And although I don't think it's the most important card ever, I've got to give a shout out to the one copy of Wait and See Hammer we see in one of these decks. If you go second, you get to discard an energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Obviously, this is in the Green's Exploration list, or one of them, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to search it out consistently and it would be kind of a moot point. Kind of silly. We do see that the list that plays Galarian Zigzagoon plays up Scoop Up Net, but again, we should be expecting that. It's the one that lets you pick up a non-GX, non-V Pokemon, so you can pick it up and reuse its ability. That's fairly important. And that list does actually play Burning Scarf as well. Burning Scarf is the tool whereby if you attach it and that Pokemon is damaged, then the attacking Pokemon gets burned. Love me some Burning Scarf. There are a bunch of options here. Let me show you the free deck list. This is the one that plays all the consistency Pokemon. But it also plays Galarian Zigzagoon with Scoop Up Net and it plays Burning Scarf. So shall we say it's got some tricks. This is a list that plays Miss Magius and Greens. It plays a four custom catcher, doesn't play boss's orders, but it does play Tool Scrapper and Wait and See Hammer. And then this is the really boiled down list that just plays Charizard, VMAX, four Volcanion and one Blacephalon. And it's a Greens exploration list with boss's orders and it does play the four Acro Bike for a little bit of added consistency. I like Charizard V Max. I also like the fact that all three of these deck lists we've seen are actually pretty gosh darn different. And that makes me pretty gosh darn excited. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of fun things to do with Charizard V Max. I'm a big fan. I think it's fun, but I'd like to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts, be nice, and tell me which one of these lists is your favourite. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash Wassy Plays, where you can find out about a whole bunch of games that don't have Pokemon in but are pretty gosh darn awesome nonetheless. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio. <laughs>